Welcome to Quest Trade. In this video, we'll show you how to view and navigate option chains on Quest Trade Edge Mobile. To get started, open the Edge Mobile app and log in. Then, tap the Quote Search toolbar at the bottom of your screen. Here, you can enter the symbol for any stock, option, or ETF that you're interested in to quickly pull up its quote. Stocks displayed are for illustrative purposes only. When you found the quote you're looking for, you can toggle between viewing the basic summary of the security and the options available for it using the tabs above the chart of its historical performance. Tap on Options to see a more detailed page with a drop-down menu to filter options by their expiration date and a chart for different strike prices for both calls and puts. Edge Mobile makes finding a specific option's expiry date easy. To find the one you're looking for, tap the drop-down menu below the Options tab. You can choose between one of the preset timeframes, including Near, which shows options expiring in the next five weeks, Far, for options expiring the following year, or All Expirations. You can also choose to see all available contracts expiring before the next earnings release or after the next earnings release. Swiping left or right on the dates beneath the drop-down menu will let you scroll through and choose from all of the different expiry dates available in your selected time frame. The rest of the information on the options chart will update automatically as you select different expiry dates. You will see calls on the left and puts on the right, separated by the strike prices shown in the middle. Under the Calls and Puts heading, all the available bid and ask prices for that option are shown. The bid price is the highest price that a buyer is currently willing to pay for a given options contract. The ask price, on the other hand, is the lowest price that a seller is currently willing to accept for a given options contract. On either side of the options strike price, you will see some bids and asks have a blue background. Options with the blue backing are in the money. This means that for a call, the underlying stock or ETF's current price is above the strike price, and for a put, the underlying price is below the strike price. However, not all options have this color background. When you see an option with a black background, it is out of the money. This means that for a call, the underlying stock's current price is below the option's strike price, or in the case of a put, above the strike price. Swiping to the left within the options chart will show you other details about that options contract. By default, the last price, which is the last price the contract was purchased or sold for, and the percentage change are shown. But custom columns can be made too giving you access to even more data. To set up a custom column, just tap the menu button with three vertical dots above the expiry dates. Here, using the edit column feature, you can take advantage of more advanced details, such as the Greeks, including Delta, Gamma, Rho, Theta, and Vega and open interest, which denotes how many contracts are currently in the market. Going back to the menu, you can also adjust how many strikes you see for your chosen option. The default number of strikes that are visible is six. However, you can see as few as four or as many as every strike currently available. Back on the options page, you can tap on any bid or ask price to pull up an order entry window. Interested in more specific information about a specific strike price? Just tap on any of the strike prices in the middle column to see a detailed options quote for that specific strike and expiration date. From here, you can toggle between whether you want information for the call or put through the bar beneath the expiry date, as well as see a historical graph of that stock's performance and other level one data to help inform your decision. Once you're ready to place a trade, just tap the green trade box in the top right corner of the page. Remember, options trading involves risks, 
and is not suitable for all investors, as the special risks inherent to this type of trade may expose investors to potentially rapid and substantial losses. We hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the options chain feature on Edge Mobile. For more information about our Edge Mobile app, please check out the other videos on our YouTube channel.